the Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and I still have strange people walking around on my property. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, <laughs> anyway, all right, so guys, today uh, we're going to do a contract. So it is uh, still the same day, September 1st. And remember, I currently have the days set to three days per month, but I might need to change that. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to I want to work some more contracts um, for a bit before we um, you know start advancing the time to do our sugar beets just so I have a little bit more money. And so uh, when I logged in, we have a contract a contract for fertilizing. Now you guys told me in the comments that I can hit this borrow items and then all the items are showing me down here. The farmer themselves will provide. Uh, but apparently I lose $888 in this particular case if I do that. However, he wants me to do field 56. Field 56 is right across from the dealer right here. In fact, it's the same field that we cultivated in episode one. And because it's right across from the dealer, we can knock it out really quick. Otherwise, what I'm going to have to do is go lease a spreader <coughs> and... um. You know, I, I suppose what we should do is see how much it would cost for me to do that. Um, so let's see. We want to go. We want to go to tools, and we want to go to spreaders. Uh, fertilizer spreaders, and to lease this Amazon would cost us five hundred dollars and seven fifty. So, so we're already. You know, uh, we're already almost $800 into it. Plus, we're going to pay more for work hours. So it's actually going to be cheaper for us to use his equipment rather than lease it ourselves since we don't currently own a spreader. So that, yeah, that seems to be the situation for sure there. All right. So let's go ahead and go into here and we're going to go ahead and do borrow items. And so we have now accepted this contract. It's active. So let's hop in our tractor and head on down to the um, the field there. And we, we're going to grab his spreader and we're going to have to go, you know, get some fertilizer. Now, you guys also told me in the comments um, that if I have extra fertilizer left over, I can just hang on to it and use it, you know, for a future contract or for myself. So that's really good to know also. Um, really appreciate you guys um, leaving the comments and, um, you know, keep it up because I am a noob at this game and like, you know, I, I, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so I would expect to see his equipment at the field, but I, I don't actually see anything over here. Uh, so when you use their equipment, don't they leave it at the field? Where's it at? I don't see it. Oh, did they drop it off at the equipment shop? Oh, yeah, looks like that's what they do. Oh, okay. Hmm. The thing that kind of sucks about that is if you use their equipment, you still got to haul everything out to the field. So if we, you know, if we take another hay contract, we definitely want to use our own stuff because we're going to have to haul it out there anyway. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to use his stuff because no, no point in putting wear and tear on our own, you know, stuff. Um, it's cost us $888 to do that. But again, it would have cost us more to, to lease the spreader. This is a little dinky New Holland tractor with skinny tires. Look at that. That Can that even pull that thing? I don't know. It seems like it's maybe a little, little bit small. All right. Now, um, so this spreader here is a bread all. Uh, K105. All right, so let's look at the capacity on this. Um, okay, where are the spreaders again? Spreaders, 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 fertilizer spreaders. So it's this spreader here. This has a capacity of four, anywhere, uh, well, 9,000 to 14,000 liters. It does 12 to 18. You know, this one is such a nicer spreader because it does up to 42 meters, but it doesn't hold as much stuff. Um, so 9,000 to 14,000 liters for this guy. Uh, all right. So, I mean, I don't know how much this field's going to need, but you know what I think we're going to do, especially since we're right across the road from the shop. 
Why don't we just get one bag, and if it's not enough, then we'll get another one. And of course, we'll be able to keep anything that's left over. I think that's what we should do. Okay, so let's go over here. And we want to go to Objects, Big Bags. And it's going to cost us $18.20 uh, for the fertilizer itself. Man, we're not going to make a ton of money on this. I hope we can do this with just one bag, or we're going to almost not make anything at all. Um, okay, so let's buy that. There we go. Okay. Start this little new home. Look at the skinny tires on this thing. That's funny. But yeah, we might as well put the wear and tear on his equipment, not ours. In fact, I need to repair my tractor too. Okay, let's get the weight on the front. I don't know, man. It seems like this tractor is a little too small for this spreader. But I guess, I guess the game knows what it's doing, right? Or one can hope, anyway. All right, let's get it right up next to this and press R to load the fertilizer. All right, so we have a thousand liters of fertilizer in here. We should be able to tell a lot easier um, this time to where we fertilized before because I think it'll show us, you know, it'll show up on the field. It was a little tougher the last time we did that cotton because we couldn't really see. But you guys also told me in the comments too that you can actually open the map and it'll show you how much you've fertilized. So I guess the first thing we have to do is figure out what the exactly what the width is on this. So maybe what we'll do is we'll start here. And we'll see if this reaches to the edge or if we need to adjust. Uh, all right, so turn on the spreader. Okay, turn it off. We need to adjust a little bit. I have a feeling like we're not going to have enough fertilizer to do this. Man, I hope we don't, like, lose our shorts on this contract. <laughs> nice okay I think we need to start right about here all right let's do this oh get going okay maybe move over just a little bit more right about to there nope oh, over correcting darn it I'm watching the fertilizer pattern and not the tractor Okay, yeah, this is a good spot right here. And then it'll be, like I said, it'll be a lot easier for us to tell. Oh, crap, we got too far out. Thank God we only have to do 85%, which, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that to you guys, but you guys told me in the comments also that these contracts actually only you require you to complete 85% uh, rather than, you know, 100%, which seems kind of weird to me, but if that's the way it works, that's the way it works. Okay. All right, now we kind of know what we're working with here in terms of spread. So I think that means we want to start right about here. All right. Get back over in the middle a little bit. Maybe right about here-ish. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now we just got to keep it relatively straight. <clears throat> well, you know, if we do end up having to buy more fertilizer, at least we can keep the excess and it'll help us out in the future. So there is that. The cruise control was on there. Okay, I'm thinking right about here-ish. 
can get over a little more, maybe to here. Back over this way, just a smidge. That's pretty good right there, I think. Maybe a little bit over this way. This is so much easier to do when you don't have, you know, tall plants like the cotton. You know, I'm thinking, though, for cotton and, you know, plants that are already somewhat tall, it might be better to use liquid fertilizer because, you know, you, it's based upon the length of the arms, and then, you you know, you can see a lot better as to what's going on there. Okay, turn that off. We might be able to pull this off. It's going to be really close. Oh, for Pete's sake, quit overcorrecting. So easy to do. All right, that's a pretty good position right there. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to, to do this. I think we are. Okay, so I'm thinking... Eh, I don't think we're going to be able to cover the whole thing if I get right in the middle. So let's just start here. So close though, man. One thing I liked about that other spreader is you could actually adjust the width of it. But it doesn't look like that is possible with this one. All right. So we, <clears throat> excuse me, we have uh, this one little section here to do. But again, unfortunately with this spreader, there's not really any way to just do part of it. So I guess we just got to do what we can do. Kind of almost over fertilizing the other part. Oh, do they reimburse us for what's left over? It looks like that's what they do. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. Nice. All right. So so we cleared 3570. Well, no, we didn't, actually, because we still had to pay for the fertilizer, but they did reimburse us for what was left over, which is kind of neat. All right, cool. So we didn't make a ton of cash off of that, but we made a little bit. I don't remember what it is, was that we started with. Well, I have to—I actually have to turn the contract in to get the, the payment. Two. So I guess I can just leave this stuff here and somebody else will take care of it. All right. So let's collect. All right, so we are now up to 81,649. When we started the episode, we were at 70 something. So we made around 2,000 bucks on that, which isn't too bad, I suppose. Okay, so unfortunately, there aren't any more contracts for us. Uh, one thing I have noticed, though, is that if I just log out of the game and log back in, then sometimes that'll make new contracts come up. The thing is, is right now, guys, there's nothing else I can do. I mean, there's nothing on my farm I can do right now. Um, the only thing I could do is fast forward the time to get to the sugar beet harvest, but I kind of was hoping to make some more contract money first. So that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and log out and log back in until we get another, you know, reasonable contract. And when that happens, I'll bring you back and we will uh, go from there. So see you in a bit.
All right, guys, we got a 9,328 bailing contract, and we have all the equipment to do that, so we are going to accept this contract. It is on field 18, so let's go ahead uh, and see where that is. Okay, so that's over here. It's a, it's a decently sized field, but uh, certainly not a big deal for us with all the equipment that we have. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Um, grab our tractor here and head on back home and get our stuff and get going on that contract. This is perfect for us. It's exactly what we're set up to do.
contract is finished, and we still have nine more bales that I guess is just gravy for us now. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to get per bale, but we're going to find out here in just a moment. I don't have a lot of room to maneuver the tractor here. Almost wondering if I should uh, figure out a better place to park next time, but this is working. All right, let's drop this down. So see, we got $248 from that. Um, but if we look at the price for hay, it's only $53 here at Johnson's Market. I don't understand that. I mean, why do we get so much more for these extra bales when we're doing it for a contract? That just, I don't know, that almost seems like a bug or something. I'm not complaining. I mean, it's pretty decent money. Way better money than if we just do it ourselves. But it just seems weird. Not sure what's up with that. Anyway, uh, we'll make a... We'll make a decent amount of extra gravy money here I don't think I should turn my um, I don't think I should turn the contract in until we finish this because then the price will probably go back to normal you know what we could do though we could test that on the very last bale uh, just to see if you know what happens I guess so yeah maybe that's what we'll do So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we were getting 241 bucks per bale, but if we go into our contract and we finish it, we got 9,300 bucks for that. So that's awesome. And our, in, our, our money's now up to 92,978. All right. Now, if we drop this off, do we just get the normal price? No, nope, we still got 241 bucks. So yeah, I don't get that, man. I really don't get that. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys know what's going on with that. Uh, and if you've already uh, told me that from the last time, I haven't seen the, that comment yet. I'm usually two or three episodes ahead of you guys. Um, so if if you ever leave a comment and it seems like I'm ignoring you, I'm not. It's just that I almost certainly haven't seen it yet. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind. All right, guys. Well, we have made... Let's see, we started this episode with 78 something, I think. So we've made about $15,000 so far uh, just from those two contracts. So, you know, not too bad money, really, considering. So let's see. I think what we're going to do is there's no more contracts right at the moment. Um, so I'm going to probably log out and back in and see if we can get another uh, contract. All right, guys, um, it is actually the next day in real life, and it is also Father's Day. So um, I have some, some exciting news for all of you. Uh, I have out for delivery a Thrustmaster T48, T248 or something like that <laughs> uh, steering wheel. Uh, and I've already received my um, I've already received the side control, you know, the Logitech side control thingy that was made for Farming Simulator. So when that wheel gets here, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to uh, uh, get it all set up and uh, just really looking forward to that. So that's my my Happy Father's Day present. Uh, but anyway, um, we I, I, when I log back in, we do have another bailing contract, and it's pretty decent money considering that it's on field 13, and field 13 is really small. Um, but you know what? I think I'm going to do that off camera just because... You know, I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again for you guys. I know I'm in the hay business and stuff, but, um, you know, I, I don't want to keep showing you the same exact thing over and over again either. So I think I'm going to do this one off camera. Um, and, you know, as we get more contracts, 
for, uh, you know, different types of things that we haven't done yet. We'll definitely be showing that on camera and I'll still show, you know, Hain too, but I just don't want to show too much, but I guess is what I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm trying to say, but considering how small this field is and, and that's a decent chunk of change, you know, we can get this sucker knocked out pretty quick. So I'm going to do that now, uh, make this money. I'll bring you guys back when we do our, when we do our turn in, um, couple of, couple of comment things too, that came in yesterday. Uh, cause remember this is the next day in real life. You guys were telling me that I should be able to pull over the unload spot in, and, and then there's a key to just that automatically unloads it. And if that's the case, that'll save us a whole lot of time. It's just that I don't think I can test that here. Uh, since I don't have anything loaded, uh, let's try it though. Um, and you know, the way I look at that from a realism point of view is that I, I pulled the stuff up and then the people at the store are the ones that unload it. I actually used to work a long time ago, um, you know, we're talking 30 plus years ago, at a farmer's co-op. Uh, and that's exactly what would happen if, you know, if we would get a load of hay or something come in, I, I'm the one that had to unload it. So I'm, I'm a-okay with that, again, from a realism perspective, if that's really the case. The thing is, is I've missed that sort of thing because I don't keep my help menu uh, on all the time. So if we pull over this... Okay, so it's not... It's not showing that option, but it could very well just be because I don't have anything on the trailer. So the next time I bring a load in, when we bring this load in from this next contract, which by the way, I need to accept it too. Uh, so let's do that now. I'll bring you guys back and we'll see if that is indeed the case. And man, that's gonna save us a heck of a lot of time if, if, whoops, if we can uh, do the auto unload. So uh, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to turn this in and uh, go from there. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm bringing you back here because we need to repair and refuel our tractor here. Um, so let's hop out. And this is probably going to be kind of expensive, but it's the cost of doing business. So to repair this is going to cost us 7700 bucks. we got to do it. Okay, so uh, we definitely are not going to repaint. Let's escape out of there. Okay, so tractor's back in good shape. I don't know what happens. Uh, what happens if you don't repair it and it completely goes all the way down? Does it stop working or does it just get really slow or what? What's the deal with that? I'd be curious to know. All right. So uh, the fuel uh, gas station is down back down by Mama Joe's. <coughs> so let's go get some fuel and see how much this is going to cost. I do have the fuel consumption set to normal. Uh, and this is the first time we've actually had to, to refuel the tractor. So I feel like it might be a little bit OP, a little unrealistic, but I'm not, I, I don't know. I mean, only two in-game days have gone by since we started playing. So is it realistic to get a full tank of, of diesel out of a tractor after two days of working fields and stuff? I'm not really sure. All right, I don't even know exactly how to do this. Do we just pull in and it fuels up for us or uh, let's bring up the help menu yeah refuel just R okay so we have 85 443 okay so that took us about or, or took about four hundred dollars for us to do that so okay fair enough yeah I don't know you guys let me know uh, you know considering that we're going after uh, a realistic experience here in this playthrough. Do you think the normal fuel setting is OP? Should I set it up to high? Uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, I wanted to bring you back and show you something that I think I'm going to be able to do here. Um, if we, you'll notice that I have my mower on the front and I have my tether on the back. So I don't see any reason why we can't mow and Ted at the same time. And that'll, of course, save save us some time doing that. Uh, but because these are bales, we do we do need to Ted them first before we can, uh, you know, windrow them. If we were doing silage bales, we should be able to mow and then bale and wrap all in one shot, too. So, you know, that's just saving us time. I don't see any reason why not. Let's give it a try and see. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, let's just see what happens here. Yeah, look at that, man. See, we're getting smarter, guys. We're working smarter, not harder. 
I love it. All right, so yeah, that saves us a step. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, something else that I missed by not having the help menu up is I just realized that I can do the straps all at the same time um, after the trailer's hitched up, which is also very cool, too. So not very realistic, I guess, but still pretty neat. Save some time, that sort of thing. Uh, so anyway, I have some really good news. My wheel has arrived. I'm so excited. So uh, we're going to finish up this episode because it's going to take me a while to get it all hooked up and set up. I've got a um, a bit of an unusual uh, computer set up in in that my my actual computer is in a in the another room. It's a, it's a, in a, another room and separated from a wall. I mostly do that to, you know to keep the the sound down and the heat and all that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm gonna have to you know run some wires and do some stuff like that to get it set up. So I figured, well, let's just go ahead and finish this episode, and then in the next farming sim episode. We'll have the new wheel and the stick. So very excited uh, for that. Uh, anyway, uh, we we made five bales, uh, or yeah, we made five bales from this field. And then I have, oh, I don't know, about it, maybe a half of a baler full uh, left over after that. So we're going to take this uh, to Johnson's Farmer's Market and see if we also have that magic key that will unload for us too. And uh, again, that's just going to really save us a lot of time if if we can actually use that. Okay, here we are at Johnson's. So let's just pull over the area here. All right, so fasten, unfasten. Select camera, select next tool. I don't see an option for auto unloading. Do I have to be... Uh, do I have to be over the... The screen? I mean, that would be for dumping grain. Oh, I hate backing up these trailers with the dollies on them. Yeah, see, I don't... Oh, wait, do I have to select the trailer? Yeah, the trailer is selected. Tractor selected. Straps are undone. Yeah, I don't see any option, guys, for for auto unloaded this. Is that a is that a setting? Let's take a look here. Game settings, traffic, seasons, crops and growth, dirt, stop and go braking. Fuel usage. Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing anything in the settings. Maybe that's a mod or something that lets you do that. I mean, again, it's not... Well, actually, I, I do think it's realistic for, you know, because I said this earlier. It, it's basically the employees here at, the, at Johnson's Market are the ones that are unloading it for us. Let me tr let me pull around back over that other area one last time, just because this thing's such a pain in the neck to back up. Whoa, whoopsie! Okay, so we're right over the top of that. And there's nothing here. No, that's the AI menu. There's nothing here that says load, unload. And if I switch to the tractor, it doesn't change anything. If I switch to that stuff, not that that should matter anyway. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, go out on a limb here and say that that's not an option, at least not in the base game. Maybe, again, there's a mod or something for that. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to offload ourselves. So let's get her done. Oh, we didn't get that bale far enough over. I was going to say, how come it's not finishing?
Um, okay, did we... Did we complete the contract? Completed. Okay, I didn't see the, the thing pop up. So, all right, there we go. So we are ending out the day with $92,000 and change. Uh, we did have to repair the tractor and fuel it up and buy fertilizer, which I think, well, we started that in the very beginning of this episode. Did we? Or did we do? I can't remember. <laughs> I lost track. Uh, but anyway, we are making money. We're not getting rich quick, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, we're getting there. And uh, so the plan for the next episode, guys, is to uh, I'm probably going to sleep the night uh, and turn it over to September 2nd and if that uh, and we'll I guess we'll see what contracts we have but what I want to do is I want to be able to harvest these sugar beets and so but we're, I guess we can't do that till October so I have two things I could do I could just turn it to October quickly so we can get those sugar beets going or I could just keep working contracts for the next couple of days to build the money up um you know because currently i have it set to three days per month and this was the first day of september so i'll have to think about that uh if i do the latter if i work the next two days i might do a lot of that off camera that will also give me some time you know to get used to my my steering wheel and side control stick uh set up too um and then bring you guys back when October starts to do our sugar beets. I don't know for sure. We'll see how things go. Um, but nevertheless, I'll bring you guys back when the time is right. And uh, we will have the new wheel on the stick. I'm very excited for that. Uh, real awesome. Um, as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to edit it, get the video up on YouTube, and then get started setting my new stuff up. So very excited for that. Happy Father's Day to all of you fathers who are out there too, by the way. And guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. Um, you know, we got off to a very rough start, but I'm getting a little bit better now. And hopefully, you know, with the new wheel and stick setup will be, you know, that'll help quite a bit too. I think it will. Um, and you know, we'll just get better as things go on and keep enjoying this game. So with that, again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.